Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to do the review of the best IEM setup from the headphone zone. For this IEM setup, we have the headphone zone collaborated with the Tanzu Banner SG IEM and then headphone zone collaborated with the DD i5 Hi-Res DAC. So this is the combination of the IEM setup we are going to review. So now these are all the products we got from the headphone zone. So firstly, thanks to the headphone zone for sending these products. So we got this headphone zone, this blue color box, and then the DD i5 and headphone zone collaborated Iris DAC, and then the same DD i5 collaborated IEM earphone case. So now firstly on the unboxing, once open this headphone zone blue box, and that is a card. So here my name is mentioned so thanks to headphone zone and there is a one more card so here there is a three things to start listening to the high res audio so you need to switch to the high res music you can stream the high res audio right from the apple music all the songs are lossless audio you can start use that and then you need to use the high res dac because generally all the smartphones will have the inbuilt dac but the dac available on the inbuilt smartphone is not that much good so you need to go for the high res dac so it can process the high resolution songs without any distortion. Then we have the headphone zone and the Tanzu Banner SG IEM limited edition. On the uh, unboxing of the headphone zone and DD i5. So once you open the box, you will get a uh, high res DAC. It's a 3.5 jack to type C converter. And also along with that, you will get a USB type A to type C converter. In case if you are using on the Windows PC or laptop means. So you can just connect the type C to this converter and you can directly use in the laptop or Windows PC. And uh, moving on to the Tanzu banner, you will get a IEM shell and then an oxygen free cable and a six different size of ear tips and finally a cleaning cloth. So now let's move on to its overview. So firstly the highlights of this uh, headphone zone and DDI5 DAC. So it processes the audio up to 32 bit depth and the 384 kHz of sample rate. And next the signal to noise ratio is 105 decibels. Generally if the signal to noise ratio more than 100 means claimed as the excellent uh, DAC. In that way the signal to noise ratio is good which means if you hear the audio even at a higher volume also you will not feel any distortion. And there is a USB type to type c converter so using this converter you can directly use in the windows pc or laptop and even i used in the mac mini also in the mac mini also i can easily able to use i watched some series and uh, i listened to some audios in the apple music as well so it works in all the devices where the usb type a port is supported whether it's a windows pc or a mac mini and then if you want to use on the iphone spin then you need the lightning connector to type c port that converter not included in this iris DAC and then it's supported with the mic pass through and the inline remote connection then you can use this inline remote to play pass the music and switch to the next song or you can attend and disconnect the calls and also you can speak calls while connected with this iris DAC also because it's supported with the mic pass through feature as well and the next moving on to the Tanzu Banner SG the design is really good on this especially when you see the face plate you can able to see the different design it's actually built on the gold color and it looks like luxurious in design and the shell is fully made of a plastic only so it comes with a very lighter in weight and it designed on the royal blue color variant but it's overall the build quality is also uh, good only and it's a semi transparent and you can easily see all the components inside the shell and moving on to the cable it's the oxygen free cable and the cable length is sufficient in the cable one side you you can see the 3.5 jack gold plated 3.5 jack and on the other side there is a ear hook so with the help of this ear hook you can conveniently wear this uh, IEM so it will not fall out from your ear easily as like in the other traditional earphones and it has a two pin copper connector and you can easily connect this cable with the shell and in the shell itself there is a LNR mentioned and in the cable also there is a LNR mentioned you can easily connect it but one thing is that during the connection make the face plate is front facing and in the cable, the LNR should be front facing during the connection. Then only you can able to perfectly wear this earbuds to the to your left ear and right ear. Then in terms of wearing, it comes with a very light in weight. So the wearing comfort is really good for me. And in case if you face any wearing discomfort issue means, there is a six different size of ear tips. You can check out that. There is a smaller inner dia ear tips and larger inner dia ear tips. You can just try out the different ear tips you may feel the better comfort then in the cable there is a control box in the control box there is a mic too you can speak calls easily so, and a multi-function button you can single press to play pause the music
music and when double press you can switch to the next song and when you receive the calls when you single press you can attend the call and again single press you can disconnect the call and in case if you want to reject the incoming call just a long press this button then the incoming call rejected now finally next to moving on to some music experience so firstly in what shows you are uh, hearing the music so i use the apple music so in the apple music you can easily stream the lossless audio so and higher as lossless audio also and in case if you are uh, using any compressed audio from the spotify like that means so then you, the quality will be slightly lesser than the high res audio so that is the one thing then if you are wearing this iem means make sure the fitting is well fitted there is a no gap if, because if the fitting is not good means then your brain focus on the external noise as well so you can't able to experience that a three dimensional audio so make sure to change the right ear tips based on your ear size and shape and make your tight fitting with your ear canal and the next thing is that you can directly use this 3.5 jack also to experience the audio so the audio quality is really good if you use the 3.5 jack also it reproduces all the frequency of sounds in the sound reproduction as well as the sound stage is also good but when you use the high res dac in combining with this uh, Tanzu Vanner SG then the audio quality will be much more better especially the volume level is much more higher than the before then 50 to 60 percent volume is enough and in addition to that you can able to experience the originality in the song so for example how the song is actually composed during the composing time so you can able to feel like that uh, quality of songs when you use the uh, high res dac I used it to hear the audio with this IEM setup, the DD i5 headphone zone DAC, and then a headphone zone with the Tanzu Vanner SG. Firstly, the sound reproduction is really good. You can able to perceive all the frequency of sounds like bass, mids, and highs. Especially in any song at the lower frequencies, all the nuances of the sound in that song you can clearly able to hear. and also the sound reproduction feels more original so when you hear the vocals and other instrument sounds which are all gives you the originality and it's a balanced sound signature on this iem setup so if you are looking for vocals to be highlighted means then it's a very good choice and at the same time the bass is also reproduced well so you can experience a good bass effect and in case if you want uh, uh, the bass response to be much more better means then you can try changing this ear tips so this iem is comes with the six different size of ear tips especially if you want the bass response to be much more better you want to add much more depth in the bass means just to change the ear tips to the larger inner dia ear tips so when you change the larger inner dia ear tips means then you can able to feel the lower frequencies much more well and also in the bass the depth is much more better you can able to feel like slightly some punchy bass effect which is almost near to the immersive sound effects and at the same time the vocals clarity and troubles which are also good it will not get affected even changing on the ear tips suppose if you don't want more that uh, punchy bass but you want uh, vocals and uh, highs to be uh, highlighted means then you can use the smaller inner dia ear tips so based on changing the ear tips you can change the sound signature as per your listening preference and the next moving on to the sound stage so when i use this combination the sound stage is also really good to feel the sound stage you need the tight sealing on wearing the wearing this iem so then you can able to feel the center focused vocals so like in a song you can able to see some of the vocals are focused in the center and some vocals are in the stereo so you can able to feel that it is also called as a lcr position left center and right you can able to uh, feel the three dimensional audio the sound is coming out from every area so in the center the vocals is playing and in the left and right some other instrument sounds and so, and in some songs you can also feel some other stereo vocals also so in this way you can able to feel the sound stage it's more clear you, you can able to clearly perceive the partition between the center left and right so that is very well balanced and also the depth and the width of the sound stage is also very well balanced especially when you listen this song in this song at the first one minute you can able to feel the four different sounds like in the width on the right side one different type of sound will come and in the left side one different type of sound you can able to listen and in the head center some vocals will be there and in the beneath you can able to see some drum kicks so all these four sounds you can able to hear at the same time and the main thing is that you can able to perceive all the sounds easily without any distortion so that is a very important thing so in terms of sound stage it's very well balanced so you can really feel the 
good sound stage on this uh, IEM setup in the combination of the headphone zone Tanzuvana SG and then uh, headphone zone DDI5 Iris DAC. So overall it's a well balanced sound signature when you use this combination and if you are looking for IEM setup under 3500 mins then it's a great choice and also you can change the sound signature by just changing the ear tips so which I already mentioned in this video. Well that's it on this video guys now this is my review on the IEM setup from the headphone zone and if you are already using mints let me share your experience in the comment section below.